Thank you, Angie. Again, yeah, we were talking about the 7 o'clock update. Mm -hmm, yeah, so we want to immediately just go to uh, Peyton Malone, who's standing by um, with the very latest information. Yeah, and you know, no big changes here, guys. That's a good thing. That means this storm is not rapidly intensifying. It seems to be that it is maintaining its intensity as the wind shear and dry air uh, really did a number on this yesterday. So luckily, that's keeping it from rapidly intensifying. Pressure is down one millibar. That's nothing too dramatic. The winds are still around 90 miles an hour, gusting to 115 miles an hour in a very small small area near the center of the storm. You can see those tropical rains are spreading through the Bayou parishes. It's going to rain the rest of the day and those rains will continue to spread across the metro and eventually the North Shore. So here comes the rain. It's going to rain the rest of today and eventually those winds will really start to pick up. So your strongest winds, they're right here near the core of the hurricane. Now all these winds are tropical storm force. Think like 40 and 45, 50 miles an hour. Right here is where your winds are going to be anywhere from 50 to 80 to maybe near 100 at least at this current update. So the hurricane center forecast did bring this up to a category two. We will see. Luckily, it's kind of capped off or it's leveled off its intensification for now. Could that continue? We'll wait and see. But either way, it's going to be at least a stronger cat one coming in later on this afternoon and evening. Movements also sped up slightly northeast at 12 miles per hour, so it's doing everything we've expected it to do. Uh, so far uh, looking at the track here and how it is tracking compared to the official center line and I don't love the center line, but you can really see the trends of the storm with this and you can see there it may be hugging more of the eastern side. So if this comes in a little further to the east, that's why we've been talking about we could have a technical landfall in Tarabone Parish and I don't want you to get hung up on parish by parish here, but you know the closer it gets into the Terrebonne Parish area, the closer that core gets into New Orleans, the closer that core gets into the North Shore. That means more rain, that means stronger winds, and that could mean some higher surge for some areas. Now, luckily, hurricane hunters are out here. They're almost playing, uh, they're chasing each other out here, both flying through the storm at the same exact time, which is amazing because the more data we have, the more confident we are in what this storm is doing. And they're both showing that it is maintaining its intensity. It is not rapidly intensifying. The cool thing, and I've got this great camera shot, and this is thanks to Island Realty down in Grand Isle. This is a live picture of Grand Isle looking out into the Gulf of Mexico. This is what it looks like right now, and you can see this will be a very important camera to watch because we will be able to see the surge come into our coastal areas, and right now the surge is not an issue, but what will happen is it'll slowly begin to creep up over the next several hours. And then once the core of that storm begins to move in, which will be late afternoon and early evening, maybe like four or five, six o'clock as the storm makes landfall, you will start to see some bigger rushes of water. So the surge starts slow and then it will really start to speed up as those stronger winds start to blow in. So right now, winds are nothing too wild. We've still got some birds on the beach. They're standing around. The waves have been crashing, but you can see there is still plenty of beach right now out there, and there's even some dunes out here as well. So hose are blocking some of the waves, and so we'll watch this closely, but I do think by this afternoon, this is going to be hard to see anything because the winds are picking up, and this area right here could see four to seven feet of water. So imagine four to seven feet extra water sitting on the beach right here. That's what we're going to be watching come into the Grand Isle area, but storm surge for areas back to the west, a little bit closer to Terrebonne Bay, could be 5 to 10 feet. This could be a fairly significant surge event for Terrebonne Parish the way it looks right now, especially if that storm comes in a tad closer and pushes all that water up into the parish here. So if you don't live inside of a levee protection system down along the coast, we're talking Cocodry Chauvin, I hope you have made plans because the water will get quite high this afternoon and stay high into this evening. You couple that with winds that could be gusting upwards of 80 to 90 miles an hour right along the coast. Now, most people are not going to see 100 mile per hour gust, it doesn't look like, but there could be some isolated instances approaching it in spots right near the center where it makes landfall. So when you're talking about wind gust elsewhere, I think there's a decent chance many of us see anywhere from 50 to 80 mile per hour wind gust late afternoon and into this evening. So once the sun starts to go down, we start to see those winds really pick up across the metro and obviously 50 to 80 mile an hour wind gusts. What's that going to do? It's going to lead to some power outages. Something else that rainfall will be increasing across the area as we go through this evening and into tonight. That's a flood risk and we do think there's going to be a corridor probably right near where the center is that could be 8 to 12 inches 
Models are split on where they want it to be, but it's going to be a close call for some of our parishes. Right now, we're locking in on Tangy, the river parishes, and the bayou parishes for more rain. But if that center gets a tad closer to New Orleans, then we may have to bump up our rain totals in New Orleans. So this is a fine detail that we can't guarantee is going to happen right now. It's going to happen for someone. It's just where exactly does it happen, and that's depends on where that storm comes on shore. So that'll be a trend we watch into this evening with, uh, with regard to our heavy rainfall risk. Uh, the timing of this, when do conditions go downhill where they've already started, but I think tropical storm conditions will start on our coast as we get into around lunchtime. So noon, that's when you need to be getting to where you want to be. The rest of the storm, make sure you're staying safe because as we go throughout the rest of Wednesday afternoon, those tropical storm force winds will spread up over the worst winds in the New Orleans Metro and the river parishes will likely be felt as we head into our evening and even during the overnight hours. And then by Thursday morning, we will have this mess out of the area.